do you want to make your pickleball game more dynamic? Well, let's take a look at the Ernie Insula Motion right now. Pickleball lovers, don't forget to have a good day. This is me playing against senior pro Scott Moore. I just returned. I'm in the near left-hand corner. Watch Scott Moore match point. So simple, right? Is he athletic? Is Scott Moore one of the best, widely renowned senior pros of all time athletic? We live in the time of constant innovation here at the Pickleball Pirates, the Ernie and Super Slow Motion right now. Of course, Scott Moore is athletic, but as he ages, he does more and more Ernie's because his timing gets better and better and he recognizes his opponent more and more. He goes right then. It looks like the opponent looks down, but that's not always the case. It depends on your opponent. And timing is everything. If you go a half second too soon, what does that do? It tips off your opponent. So in this example, Keith could have went a lot later. Think of the Ernie as a surprise element that keeps your opponents off the balance. Fallacy number one, the Ernie is an athletic shot to hit. You have to be athletic to hit it. False. It might not be an unathletic shot to hit, but you don't have to be super gifted to hit it. It's all about timing and surprise. So let's take a look right now. This is Cliff from Cliff Pickleball. Play some pro, really good friend of mine. And I think he went too soon, but let's watch this whole point. It's actually a really good point. Well, pickleball lovers here. Here it is. He sets it up with a deep dink down the line, right? That's how a lot of Ernie's are set up. He went a half second too soon. I think he knows it. He should have timed it one more second later. This is Keith Valentine. This is super slow motion. We just upgraded our cameras here, the Pickleball Pirates. So please subscribe. And that is a perfectly timed Ernie. Fallacy number two, you have to jump over the kitchen line to hit the Ernie. False. I like to hop, skip, and you don't have to jump. It's not like your mama said. <laughs> Again, it's all about timing. If you get that skip at the right time, it's a very deceptive shot. They don't see you're moving. They might lob. It causes errors. And even if you don't pull off the Ernie successfully, it might create an error when they're dinking, right? They're surprised. They look down and they're like, oh shoot. Or they might throw up a lob. It'll help your partner to put it away. Take a look at the giant in the top left-hand corner. Why did I pick this example? He's taken literally one step. I know he's super big. That's a burt, really, but you can do this. If he can do a burt, you can do an Ernie with one step. And what's amazing, Ernie defense? Hit the ernie -er. Hit the ernie -er. It works. I would recommend this as an Ernie defense. Here's some pros hitting the Ernie. These are just really good examples of ways you can Ernie. And some people hit it way too hard. This is pro Steve Deacon. Your partner can set up that Ernie with that forehand dink out wide. And where do we want to target when we set that Ernie up? A deep dink to our opponent's backhand. Deep dink backhand they have to choose whether to take it out of the air or let it bounce and that's when we pounce like steve deacon canadian number one a lot of really good things come out of the ernie even if you don't get the ernie it's like um to give up power you have to relinquish it that doesn't even make any sense one more thing many times people ernie and they hit the ball too hard i would recommend to misdirect it to the other side of the court a little slower, right? Or hit it at that feet. You don't have to put it away. Many times you might gain advantage of the point with the Ernie. If you try to put it away, you might hit it out. You really might. Obviously, if you have a put away, take it, right? This is Keith Valentine. What did he do wrong in this example? A little too soon, I would have been positioned a little more closer to the sideline, right? Because forehand middle has a lot of the court, so you don't have to jump as much if you skip. In these examples, he's touching the line too soon. Again, he went too late there. If you do, just reset that, right? And if you hit the ball past the net, it doesn't count. It's a fault. Here is a better view. If you make contact with the ball past the net, it is a fault. Now, you can hit the ball and then run past the net. That's fine. Contact has to be made before the net. I've asked so many pros and senior pros, when do you move on the Ernie? Some say when the opponent looks down to hit the dink. Others say it's all timing. It depends on each opponent. And I think it's more number two. But if they're looking down like number one, so do I have to do number one or two? I think I have to go to the bathroom. Let me finish this segment first. If these pickleball players can hit the Ernie, I think you can too. So try it in a rec play court near you today. <laughs> 
pickleball lovers, this was a really good super slow motion segment. I would suggest you click, but let me ask you one more question. When you do the Ernie, when do you move? When your opponent looks down or um, just timing or when you feel like it? I'm just trying to get you to click. I don't even know where the video is, but don't forget to have a good day.